What is up everyone? Welcome back to Sweet in Four. In this episode we're gonna be a shopkeeper the whole episode. We're just gonna stand here, wait for people to shop at our store here. Obviously I'm kidding. Let's head to the palace. See what happens. We already talked to him in the last episode. Setsu, if I'm not mistaken, you are the ones who arrived with Lady Flare on that ship, correct? Yeah, that's right. Wait a second. You wouldn't happen to be the king, would you? Me, the king? The king is a most magnificent man. That you would mistake one such as me for him is, um, quite foolish. In any case, Lady Flair has informed me of your circumstances. Please come inside. I'll be more mindful of your manners in the future. the king we came all the way out here because the king told us to come and he's not even here that's enough such disrespect is not permitted in the royal palace setsu there's no need to raise your voice settle down show some restraint your majesty this is why i am always begging you to wear the clothes i set out for you your, your majesty sorry to have misled you i'm linu and Kuldus, king of obel pleasure to meet you what this guy is the king so, I've been waiting to speak with you. Everyone, will you leave us alone for a moment, please? Do you think that is wise, Your Majesty? We don't even know who he really is. Just relax. Since you won't be needing us, we'll leave too. We'll be outside. All right, let's get straight to the point. My daughter informed me about your situation. Will you show me the rune? Indeed, there's no doubt about it. This is the one, the rune that was once on this island. On the west side of this island, there are ruins. I call them ruins, but believe me, they're nothing that impressive. It was there that this rune was originally found. If only those ruins had been properly guarded, it would probably still be there, lying dormant and untouched. But that was 15 years ago. For now, though, I suggest you pay a visit to the ruins. They're currently being guarded, but you should be able to get in with this. Sounds like a plan. Obtain ruins entry pat permit. Almost said pass. Deep in the ruins, you will find someone who knows a great deal about the rune. Seek out that person, and you will hear the story. But I doubt you'll hear many good things about the rune. With that rune, you must realize that a harsh fate awaits you. Fortunately, though, I can see that you have friends who care for you. Now listen to me. Do not bring them grief. Okay. Go, your friends are waiting, right? Alright. That's our next destination is head to those ruins. But I think there's something else I'll trigger first. Man, that took forever. So what's gonna happen to us now? Say King! You think we can start a new life here on this island, or do we have to leave again? Well, if you really have nowhere else to go, you're welcome to stay. Really, Your Majesty? That's so nice of you. It might not be much, but we'll work our hardest. Of course. If you wish to stay on this island, you can work for me. I'll secure you a place to live as well. 
Desmond! Are you here? Yes, Your Majesty. Uh, actually... Where's my voice? Your Majesty, are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Don't worry, it'll be fine. So, can you do it for me? I'll leave it to Desmond to show you to your living quarters. He'll also be watching over you and getting you anything that you need. Please realize that I can't trust you completely just yet. Nothing personal, you understand. Well, there you have it. I pray that we don't encounter any significant difficulties. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, let's be on our way. The place you'll be staying is east of the Royal Palace, um, towards the wharf. <laughs> okay. Desmond has joined your party or company. My business with you is done. Hurry along now and get familiar with your new residence. Tell me what to do. I'm a grown ass, I'm a grown ass man. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have said that on YouTube though. I just kind of just blurted it out. Usually I censor myself. That's one of the rare times you get to hear words I don't normally say. <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys, I don't even curse outside of YouTube though, honestly. Not that often anyway, not like most people do. Yeah, these killer rodents, they can instantly kill you sometimes. Uh, so you gotta be careful about that. They have instant death out of their weapon, I guess. That's how it works. So if your character just dies in one hit, that's why. And they got pretty high defense at this point because our weapons aren't really upgraded too much. If our, upgrade, if our weapons were upgraded, it'd be a lot easier. The back of the cave will be your shelter on this island. What, inside the cave? Well, tell me we were supposed to work inside this place for the rest of our lives oh no no way meow oh no no please don't worry go on inside oh it's pitch black meow your eyes will get used to it gradually now please keep going oh hey watch it sorry about that I, s I think I stepped on your foot it's not so bad right it's is it easier to see now oh Desmond has left your company. This is where you'll be living from now on. This room here is where you can rest. But there are many additional rooms as well. Look at all the room in here. Oh yes, I have a message for you from the king. He wishes you to assemble a group of people with various skills. And what's that supposed to mean? It means exactly what I said. I'll see you requested that Razor be in charge of the this task. There are already several guests here who have preceded you. See over there. New faces, I see. Please let me know when you want to rest. <laughs> My, you have such a deep look in your eyes. I rather fancy that. My name is Louise. Nice to meet you. Alright, so we got Louise. Tob has joined us as well. And Chatty. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, wrong I apologize. I think that's how you pronounce it though. He's a Chad. <laughs> yes, I'll be staying in this room. Oh, and if you wish to change your party members, please talk to Miss Louise or myself. If you grow weary, the sleeping quarters are up the stairs and to the right. Ah, sleep sounds good right now. After being out at sea for so long, we finally get to sleep on land. I'm a cheapy, let's get some rest first. When we wake up, we'll be starting a new life. Let's do our best, Razor, don't worry. We'll get to return to Razoril someday. You're right, let's do our best. Desmond joined as well.
How's the people gathering thing coming along? Hey, how's everything been? Take me with you once in a while. I need to be out in the sun more often. My name is Tob and I am the one who designed this place. I look forward to working with you. Okay, so he designed this whole area, whole place. There's no need to be in such a hurry. I suggest you first check the location of your rooms and get some rest. Alright, let's go. We have to go to the room. I know which room it is, too. It's. It might be upstairs, but. You know, it's not that one. That's the war room right there. We had to go upstairs to get to it. And it's over here. Right up here is the main character's room. And conveniently you get a save point here as well. So that's nice. And we'll go ahead and rest. See what happens. Cutscene time. Oh. Look who it is. You guys have played this Fikidin series, you know who this is. Please forgive my sudden appearance. Yep, it's Leknot again. My name is Leknot. She's been in pretty much every single she's been at, she was every every mainline Sweden game, one through five. I am the guardian of the true runes. Some call me the executor of balance. Embedded in your left hand. One of the true runes. That particular one is called the Rune of Punishment. It is this rune that governs atonement and forgiveness. As the rune's power is used, its dreadful spell will consume its master's life little by little. That's why we were taking damage whenever you use it. Okay, so you're gonna keep an eye on us. It's kind of weird. Like, not the creeper. This is where Desmond hangs out right here. You can. Oh yeah, he's, he. I skipped the dialogue a little quick there, but he said that uh, um, that you could use a ship by the harbor. Oh, the ruins are actually a little bit hard at this point. Uh, but you remember those uh, pearls that we got? We need to upgrade our weapons, and we can use the ship. And we can head to an island nearby and sell the pearls. Now, in all honesty, I have just been assigned here, and I'm not entirely familiar with the situation at hand. Nevertheless, please begin. Ahem, <clears throat> if I may. It is the light that was seen earlier that concerns us. It has not been seen around Rosarill since then. Hmm. In other words, this proves that this light has nothing to do with the land of Razaril, correct? But Sir Cray, I remember you saying... Don't be hasty, Governor. I am saying that this light is something that shifts. Please humor me for now. I beg your pardon, Sir Cray, but your story... I cannot help but think it sounds like a work of fiction. If you see, uh, there's Ramada... Who we helped earlier to go to Iluya Island, but we never made it, remember? This is coming from one who is known as the Child of the Sea God. Sorry for being so outlandish. 
If you would please stop calling me that. Troy, just let it go. There is no need to be so sensitive. I know the achievements of each of your fleets, as does Sir Cray. Yes. Without you, we would be unable to fulfill the governor's plans for the southern expansion. In any case, I was told one of my men had a report for us. Ramada? Yep. Uh, pardon me, but I have brought with me a man who claims the possibility that the object in question has moved on from Razaril. Ah, bring him in. As you wish. You may enter. Snow. He's still alive. New outfit. Alright, but anyway, let's head down to the ship and... Alright, the main character in Chipu leveled up there. There's more we can do besides exploring the island near, uh... Uh, the island near uh, Obil, but we got some new people here too. We got Gary. It's quite an exquisite building. It is, isn't it, dear? It wouldn't be bad to stay on this island for a while, you know. What do you think? I agree. Keep those in mind for later. You can't recruit them right now. But they have a portrait, so obviously you can recruit them, but you just can't recruit them now. Go down here. There's a character we can recruit down over here, though. This is the only character you can recruit at this point in the game. Remember him from earlier? Truth is, I'm looking for a certain woman, but to no avail. Why don't you join me on my search? Alright. Then it's decided I should be counting on you. Then I shall also head for this place where you are all gather are gathering. So he has the waking rune, and what that does is he automatically starts to battle asleep. Uh, but if he wakes up, he's automatically berserk. And berserk increases the damage that you deal. But it's not like Final Fantasy. You still can control the character. Uh, you just get a bonus in attack power. So it's like having it's it's like berserk from Final Fantasy, except you can still control the character. Alright, anyway, the island that we're heading to is not very far, so I'll just go ahead and do it in this episode. But there is random battles out at sea, obviously, so. That's something you gotta deal with. And the encounter rate's pretty high at sea. But we got new to me here, Speckled Ray. They have an AoE attack that they can do. It's, our weapons are pretty weak right now. It's recommended that you uh, use the Rune of Punishment. But I don't want to use it too much. Okay. If our weapons weren't so weak, we could take these enemies out a lot faster. But I didn't have enough money to uh, upgrade anymore. But at this point, you can pretty much explore like quite a bit of the map. You can't go everywhere, but you can go a majority of the area. Since we upgrade our weapons, I won't even need to use the rune anymore. Yeah. 
So I'm basically just using it temporarily. I'll start cutting out random battles. Alright, Jewel leveled up there. I think this might be the island right here. I don't know if this is it or not. Seems like it was farther north. Uh, we also have that bar at the bottom of the screen that allows us to do uh, something called Rush. This will heal the main character and deal damage to all enemies. As you can tell, and then you can attack. Okay, not bad. Yeah, that's not it. That's not the island that we need. It's farther north, like I thought. Okay. Just checking the map here. We should be coming up on it. It's not very far north. It's like northwest of Oval. There it is, right up ahead. Uh, the... Yeah, I think I mentioned it before, but the giant uh, lizards can um, poison you. Poison will wear off with their battle, though. Alright, here we are. Mondo Island, I believe it's called. Or Mordo Island, yeah. And this place has random battles. Not a rune usage, unfortunately. Still alive. There we go, finally. Yeah, we'll just attack. I don't really care. We're not in danger of dying right now. Only one of these things. We are like poison though, but it's not that big of a deal. Our weapons are so weak. There we go. Nice, everybody leveled up. Alright, level 25. I know something you don't. Would you like to hear it? Actually, right now there's a bit of a wine boom in the Kingdom of Obol. I hear wine sells for a high price. Alright, we got new to me here. The Yellow Rodent and Rodent Leaders. Now these enemies can't do the uh, instant death like the other rodents, but they inflict balloon on you. If you get a certain amount of balloons, you'll fly away, essentially ejecting you from the battle. So it's kind of 
uh, crucial to not get too many balloons on you. I'm gonna I can remove it from Tal with just using the water rain here. Oh, I meant to oh, I recovered it from the wrong character. I meant to be Shipu. Shipu had two of them. It's alright, I can have Chipu remove his own. He doesn't really do much damage anyway. Ah. So weird, it's a weird status element. Like it's so bizarre. Oh, one more balloon and he'll fly. Oh, he's gonna fly away. Oh no. Oh no. Maybe it's just three balloons and they fly away. I thought it was two. I thought it was four, I mean. Twenty-six. All right. So at this point, we could sell these pearls we bought earlier. We'll look how much profit. Gold ore sells for a lot here too. So does yep iron ore. Cotton sells for a lot here. Manay sells for a lot here. As we're stuck to buy here, you want to buy uh, like crystal balls if they have them. Silver ore you can buy here. And that's about it. Anyway, at this point I want to head back to base because we lost Tal. And then I'll probably upgrade uh, my weapons and everything. And then we'll come back here. You can fight a lot of them as you can tell. Like, you have blue rodents, red. But we're just going to run from this pedal. There we go. I could have bribed them to just get away, but... This place is not that big. We can just get back to the ship. Uh, but anyway, I'm in the video here. In the next episode, I'll meet you guys back at Obol. And... I'll upgrade my weapons off screen probably. I'm not going to show me upgrading my weapons. But I'm going to upgrade my weapons, upgrade my armor. And then we'll continue on in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Later.